morning guys Whew. morning cardio getting after it life changer give it a try <laughs> no good at that um that, that motivational shit um but yeah troops we're going to talk about strength training today today's video is going to be related around if it's beneficial for going into the military what's the pros and cons and what job roles is it going to be specifically more um, valid for and will it be worth it if you get there and you've done a little bit of strength training so the first question we need to answer is going to be what do i mean by strength training now strength training is a very very broad term um, and a lot of things fall under that umbrella but i'm specifically talking about going to the gym doing your bodybuilder style workouts doing your three sets of 10 on bench press moving on to another exercise then another exercise then another exercise um, and utilizing weight to help you build muscle and build strength that is what i'm specifically talking about now you could argue that just doing basic press ups and pull ups on a daily basis is strength training um, and i do not disagree with that that is 100% um, correct and i would class that as strength training as well but like i said we're specifically talking about doing your basic gym workouts and how they can benefit you going into the military if they do at all so let's talk a little bit about if i think they are beneficial so is it going to be beneficial for you a person that is going through the british army application process for the armed forces to be doing bodybuilding style training um, and strength training as a whole the answer is yes to a degree now let me explain strength training we know the benefits in terms of performance we get more strength more power more speed from doing these sorts of workouts depending how you do them and we also get something that is very very important for basic training and something that tends to slow people down depending on the job role um, depends on the likelihood of it happening which is going to be injuries yeah injuries are a very very big part of basic training not everyone gets them depending on the job role you're going into especially things like marines paras where things are a little bit more intense people tend to get injured a little bit more so it'd be very very wise to look at strength training as an injury prevention tool as well as a performance increasing tool so my suggestion would be to add it to your training at least three days a week now what i referred to before in terms of would we do bodybuilding style workouts as i spoke about so going to the gym uh, and specifically trying to do bodybuilding workouts to look better that may not be wise because what we want to do is we want to focus on things that are going to give us the most bang for our buck and what i'm speaking about here is doing compound lifts so we want to look at things like our bench press our standing overhead press or some sort of shoulder press um, we want to look at things like the squat the deadlift maybe some walking lunges these are all called compound lifts and what a compound lift is is an exercise that hits multiple muscle groups at once and it's multiple joint exercise so for example when you're doing a squat you're not only working the quads you're working the hamstrings you're working the glutes and um, you're actually working a bit of the core muscles as well so it is a very very beneficial exercise not just for the legs but for all over sort of stability on the body as well as obviously the other things that i mentioned so that's what we want to do in terms of our strength training we want to implement it maybe not five six days a week but at least three days a week and we want to focus on our compound lifts this is all very very easy to search on the internet type in compound lifts go to the gym maybe do three sets of ten on each one and progressively try to get stronger in these exercises to give us the most bang for our buck when we turn up to phase one training i think they sort of started to implement this now with the way the world is going in terms of science and all that sort of stuff they're starting to implement this more into the basic training um pt regiment so you will do some sort of this um but it'll be good to get a head start and obviously like i spoke about the injury prevention is tremendous so definitely implement it now which jobs would need to focus on this more than others let's get into it so it goes without saying that all roles within the British Armed Forces would benefit from some style of strength training, whether that be three days a week, four days a week, or even a little bit more. However, there is a few roles specifically that would benefit more than others due to the nature of their training. Now, the first one that comes to mind, which is probably no surprise to anyone, is gonna be the Royal Marine Commandos. Their basic training is renowned for being one of the toughest in the world, and it involves a lot of 
um, strength based activities like climbing ropes, doing regains and some technically challenging stuff that you need quite a lot of upper body strength to do um, as well as core strength and leg strength so implementing a few strength training sessions throughout the week is going to be massively beneficial for the strength aspect as well as the injury prevention. The next job role that comes to mind is going to be the parachute regiment. Now their training is also very very hard and renowned for being one of the hardest in the world and the injury prevention thing I think is going to be key here. Doing a little bit of strength training to give you overall stability, core stability, leg strength, all these sorts of things that you're going to need when you're doing these long fast tabs and runs is going to be key to helping you succeed going down there prepared mentally and physically and be ready to take on the challenges they give you is going to be probably the most important thing if you turn up there unprepared you're going to be in shit state and then the next one um this is not this is just my sort of personal opinion going into the infantry i think any infantry sort of regiment or battalion um you're going to have to have some sort of robustness um to a higher level than the other job roles within the British Army, the Navy and the RF, just because of the nature of the job, yeah? You're carrying a lot of weight on your back, so you need that um, stamina, strength in the legs to be able to continue going and carrying heavy amounts of weight. So they are the three specific roles that I think you should 100% be included some sort of strength training with. Now, you could probably get away with not doing it if you are naturally quite fit and naturally quite strong, um, and if you're going into the other job roles, you can also probably get away with it. But like I said before, all roles can benefit. Just these three, I think you should definitely focus on it. Make sure that you are physically strong, ready to go for your basic training. Okay, so the final thing, is it worthwhile to be going to the gym and doing strength training if you are someone thinking of going into the military? The answer is yes, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because of the previous stuff we talked about, injury prevention, performance enhancing aspects of doing strength training, and also just to instill a really, really good habit. Now, going to the gym is not the funnest thing in the world for some people, I know that, but if you can start to instill going at least twice to three times a week, maybe even four, then you're gonna end up better off from doing so. You're gonna get a little bit of discipline, and to go along with all the health benefits, it can be quite fun. If you get into it obviously you're going to change your physique your body composition all them sorts of things and it can benefit all aspects of your life including mental health and if you play a sport or something along that lines then it can be something really good to aid your sporting career if that's something you are wishing to do in the military okay guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you are thinking of pursuing going into the armed forces. If you are, definitely start looking at doing some strength training along with the basic cardio sort of stuff that you're required to do for your job role. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.